What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy here, back again with another fragrance video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. Hope you guys are in good health. And if you watch this channel, I know you are smelling all the pain. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, man. Hope you guys are in good health. Hope the family is good, man. Welcome to another episode here on House of Colossus, man. Well, you know, me and my family have ourselves a good time discussing this Art of Fragrance, man. If that is something that you're interested in, feel free to hit that subscribe button, man. We have ourselves a good time. We talk about Middle Easterns. We talk about designers, indies, new discoveries, hauls, the whole shebang shawat, man. If that's something that you're interested in, come in and have yourself a good time with the family. I ain't come to play no games with y'all today, man. I know what y'all are here for. Today is Tuesday. So y'all are tuning to another episode of Middle Eastern Tuesday. Yes, uh, Middle Eastern Tuesday, y'all. Back one more time live and direct. And I have this hype beast here, man. Love. Love this stuff, man. A fall and winter beauty. Coming from the house of Mason Alhambra, y'all. Today, we will be discussing Tabac. Mason Alhambra Tabac, y'all. This right here that I gave you last week. That I gave you last week. Man, this is some good stuff, man. Let's start with presentation, y'all. Comes in this white box that says Tabac Auto de Parfum Mason Alhambra White Cylinder Box. Does have Alhambra on the top as well. Got some information on the bottom. QR code, barcode, batch and barcode at the bottom. My bottle is fairly new, y'all. Um, this was manufactured in September of 2022. I purchased my bottle, y'all, for a Steal off of fragranceby.ca for $18.44 when it was available now at that point in time. Now I think it's running you about $45, $55 in that range. I will do my best to link down in the description box something very, very, you know, cost effective because y'all my people put it there. Yes, sir. Uh, but yeah, man, this is... <sighs> Let's just keep going with the presentation. It has the authenticity sticker. Your bottle sits in there like this, really snugly. I kind of broke this part already, so it's like actually sits like that. Malfunctions, but you know, the show must go on. Anyways, your bottle sits in there like this in this little cylinder. Um, nothing at the top that just kind of holds the top. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the bottle. This is the bottle. If you do not know, man, this is duping or inspired by Dior's Tobacco Lore. This is a, a push on cap. It's not magnetic at all. I don't recommend you pulling this up by the cap or picking it up by the cap. Has this brown cognac color Hennessy looking juice, man. And has a Mason Alhambra at the bottom. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle, I believe. I believe this is a 3.4 ounce bottle. Let me just make sure before y'all. Yeah, 3.4 ounce bottle, 100 milliliter bottle, y'all. Show you guys distribution. I can't wait to get this in the air. <laughs> I said, I look like a little kid doing it. Hold on. He. He, he, he. <sighs> My love. Do you ever smell good? Tabac Mason Alhambra. Y'all did y'all thing with this thing. Man, this stuff's so good, bro. So, on initial spray, I get boozy honey tobacco and like a little sprinkle of peach on it. Like, just like if you took the peach and you just kind of squeeze the juice on a little bit, 
that's what I get, man. This is a very linear fragrance, y'all. Don't really change too much. Not the greatest projecting fragrance, at least for my skin, but a sillage monster. This thing lingers in the air so good. For me, y'all, personally, I think this more leans more mature, in my opinion. Like, I don't think guys is probably like 19, 20, early 20s. I don't think they would gravitate towards something like this. This is a fall and winter, date night, staple, casual, but I think I think you kind of do a little bit more formal with this, in my opinion. A little bit more formal with this. A little, little dressy to it. Maybe got your little scarf on, a little trench coat. Nice little, you know, boots or whatever. Maybe some leather gloves. You you got yourself dapper for this. This kind of smells like, like, it smells amazing. That's that's really the best way I could put it, man. I was blown away when I smelled it. I wore it the next day to work, and it, it smelled amazing. It's a very sexy, intoxicating, sweet tobacco and honey, fruity fragrance. The fruit the the fruitiness kind of dies down as the fragrance continues to get into the dry down. And you get more of that, like that smoky, not smoky, but like that sweet tobacco. I really enjoy this, man. Like, I believe that it's worth way more than the $18 that I paid for. However, for me personally, I really enjoy it. Longevity on this wasn't that great, y'all. My first time wearing this, I got about six hours. But again, the first two hours, it was projecting pretty well. But kind of like, like not like full, full length, but like kind of like in your bubble type thing. But I walked around the store a couple times and I came back to places because I was putting away truck. And I will come back to that area and it will still be lingering in the air, man. It is an enveloping, intoxicating scent. I don't know how close it is to Dior, Tobacco Lord. And honestly, I really don't care. <laughs> Not in a bad way. It's just more so like I really, really enjoy this. I don't have a lot of tobacco scents in my in my um collection. However, I do know from some of the tobacco scents that I have tried, I really, really enjoy cherry and honey tobaccos. I really, really enjoy like that pipe type of tobacco vibe. I don't know what it is. I didn't have any like smoker smokers in my family, but I know like like the older gents back in the day, that's what they, you know, that's what they did or whatever. But I really, really enjoy this, man. This is a mature, masculine. Um, I think you can do a unisex. I don't know how that would play off a woman's skin, but I would love to know. You know what I'm saying? But I really, really enjoy this. If you're looking for something that has, if you're a tobacco fan, let's put it out there. This is a great buy. If you like honey, tobacco, fruity, woody, just a really, really good masculine mature fragrance man i definitely think you should pick this up man very 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 pleased with this purchase if you have to back in your collection y'all what has your experience been like because i know i'm not the only one sleep on this i know some people say that the tobacco can kind of be a little bit much at times just give us some time to kind of get into that dry down and it gets better but again a very honey tobacco with a little bit of peach over the top masculine um scent that i really really enjoy my name is jeremy y'all you are tuned into the house of colossus don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to have that friend hey man for real you definitely want to tell them about this one for sure until we meet again y'all much love from your boy don't forget down in the comments to let me know what your experience has been like with mason alhambra to back until we meet again y'all peace